Okay, everybody, we're back again. Alan Root Comics and Collectibles with me, the Comic Viking, and my brother from another mother, Beckerman. Today, That's me. We have a very, very special box from Mr. Pocan Joe. Okay, we are back. I hope everybody is having a had a great Thanksgiving and is having a great time this week. So this video is all about one thing, and that is Mr. Poke and Joe. So I messaged Mr. Joe, and he asked about for an idea from one of his uh, from his last build, at Evil Airs Project and Builds, which is the link down in the description. And I said, "How about a Viking axe?" And he was like. Sure, never done it, but let's go. So he did it. And if you don't follow him, you need to go watch this video. It is awesome. And check out all of his other videos. He does a lot of awesome stuff over there. A lot of awesome stuff. So, oh, yeah, great channel. Yeah. Pokan Joe is a great guy and he's super intelligent. So, I am he's the smartest person I've ever known that got ran over by a car while on a scooter. True. True story. True story. So, of course, in Pokan Joe fashion, he didn't just send me the axe. He sent me comic books as well. So, <gasps> of course. So, we got Warhammer 40,000 40, Sisters of yeah. Battle. Okay. We have uh, Transformers Back to the Future, number four. Pretty awesome All cover. Right. Yeah, I got the DeLorean down there. We have Batman Annual 17, Bloodlines Outbreak. Cool cover. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I mean, you almost don't even notice that it's a Batman book, but it is. And there's Batman. He's very small, but it's a Batman book. And then the last book he sent was Captain America 426. Okay, I dig it. Yeah, cool, cool cover. Got some Captain America flexing on there, which I think is pretty awesome. So throw that in the PC. <clears throat> so, and now we have the axe. So he shipped it. Pretty awesome. Got here in a couple days. It was great. He had the axe between two cardboard pieces. And this is the axe. Oh, I love it. I know. Right? It even looks faded and everything. Like it's been buried for yes. a couple hundred years. And Indiana in the Jones video, just... in the video, it says he made, he wanted to make it look a little older and worn and used. And because he likes old things and I do too. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And he used some type of electrical process mm -hmm. to get these knots in on each side of the blade. And are you going to be linking? Oh, are you going to have a link to this video yes. that he made? It? Pokan Joe's Instagram and Evil Lair Projects and Bills YouTube will be down there. And an actual link to the axe video. Go watch the axe video because it is awesome it shows exactly what he did he goes he explains what he's doing to how to make it and everything i mean it is this this metal this piece of metal was flat it was like straight up flat that's no and i i have got a, a becker build in mind now oh to oh. match yours i need i wonder if joe would make me a handle like yours but instead of an axe blade, like a little hand that's a back scratcher. It's for when my back's itchy. And then we could be Vikings together. And like if we ever needed to go to a ruckus, I could slap them with the little hand. But, you know, also scratch my back. Or yours. I could help you out. I just call it, you know, looking for a friend. <laughs> Well, 
There you go. It's another so, idea. So everybody hit up Pokan Joe. Joe. Tell him Beckerman needs a little hand. A little, a little hand. Yeah, yeah, and it'll scratch my back for me. Or look intimidating on the field of battle next to my Viking brother. <laughs> this like is you'll the... have your axe all menacing and I'll have my back scratcher. I don't know if it's all menacing. I mean, it's not like it's huge, but it is straight up just for close combat. It's not about the size of the axe in, in the hand. It's the size of the axe in the man. I, I think I fucked that up. I don't know. I read it on a bumper um, sticker once. They're, not, right, they're, they're right. not all winners. No. I'm just I'm just talking nonsense. I don't have anything nonsense. to show in this. I don't have an axe. So I was it's thinking, okay. boy, it would have been cool if I had something. And then I was like, well, I need a back scratch because right now my back is incredibly itchy. You know, the cold weather has come to Missouri. And, you know, I, and almost, I got the dry skin. I almost want to take this and try and scratch my back with it, but it is actually down here is quite sharp. Um, because this is supposed to go into your innards and pull them out. And is uh, that what that's for? Yeah, it's for when it goes in and it you slice through, it's supposed to grab stuff and pull. I thought it was after you cut the roast beef and then you like serve it on that little thing. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Alan. No, it, it's an axe video, everybody. But the video about the axe. axe. We are going to get Pokan Joe to make Beckerman a back scratcher because that's what we're going to axe him. We're going to axe him to make me a back We're going to axe him um, to make a back scratcher for Beckerman. A back scratcher. Backs. Like put axe in back. Back scratcher. Back scratcher. I don't. I, this is this has gone off the rails. It has. Shh, we're coming back. All right. <laughs> bring him back. Pokey right. and Joe built you a beautiful axe, sir. He did. He did build me a beautiful axe. Um, the only thing I might do is I might put some 550 cord to fill these these um grips slots i think that would look really good and help me grip it even though i can grip it pretty good here but yeah i don't want my hands slipping off when i'm scratching my back no no you definitely don't because i mean you could i mean you could drop it that you don't want to do that because then your back maybe still if the little hand like was a little cupped you know like i could grab things with it yeah oh that would be even great right mm -hmm. yeah some, then I don't have to get out of my chair. I'm just like, oh, what's that over there? Mine now. Mine now. All righty, sir. Everybody, check these out. Follow Pokan Joe, and hopefully we get a Bax. A Bax. B-A-X-E. A Bax scratcher. It's a thing. Scratcher for Beckerman. It's a thing. It's a thing. So we're going to try and make it a thing. And uh, So beseech we... Pokan Joe. Beseech, yes. So we will uh, we will see what he says, and we will go from I, there. I, I don't even want to say anything to him. I just want him to watch this video and watch it go off the rails. <laughs> okay. That was so freaking cool, too. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow us, hit that notification bell. Check out Evil Air Projects and Builds and Pokan Joe's uh, comic book review channel, He's a great guy, smart guy, intelligent guy. Just he knows a whole lot about a lot. <laughs> Obviously, he's scratching my back like a sucker. So we will until the next video, guys. We'll see you later. <laughs>